Welcome to Weld.com. I'm going to talk about low hydrogen rods. What about low hydrogen and what about moisture and all that kind of stuff? Um, critical on code jobs. I've been on a lot of stuff where I've been stuck out in the rain, you know, and you don't want to, you can weld with a wet rod. Is it okay, you know? Um, probably want to avoid it in critical applications, obviously. Uh, will a rod still run when it's, sap when it's saturated with moisture? We've been soaking rods for 24 hours over here, and we're going to do a we're going to we're going to pull a test here between stuff that just came out of the Phoenix dry rod oven at 300 degrees, and I'm going to compare that with the exact same rod that's been soaking for 24 hours in the good old H2O. So what about low hydrogen? You got 7018. What is the what is the limit? You know, when you when you take these out of the oven, how long do you have to use them? Do they have to be rebaked? There's a lot of specs and regs according to AWS. So we want to pull this little comparison and just see what happens. We want to see what happens with something just super saturated in moisture, stuff that came right out of the oven at 300 degrees. Be right back. So this is a fresh 7018. Just came out of the Phoenix dry rod oven. It's nice and warm, dry. Let's bark up on this guy and see what happens. Just going to run normal fillet weld. Oh, this run is sweet. Somebody wakes me up before I get to the end. Got a little slag peel going. Ran in there pretty nice. Preheated rods are running in there pretty nice. Had a little peel there. That thing came off pretty nice. Ran normal. Nice profile of weld. I want to cool this coupon off and use the exact same coupon back here on this side and run a saturated wet rod. We've been soaking it for 24 hours. We'll see what happens. All right, now we're going to run this little juicy morsel here that's been soaking overnight. It's saturated, it's wet, so let's we'll see what happens. This thing is like soaking wet. Well, not only was it a hard one to start <clears throat> when I first got the rod going, eventually, I thought it would start easier than that, really, being the moisture and it just crank up. But anyway, it uh, the slag looked weird, like a, you know, obviously kind of vaporizing, but the way it flowed, it, the, the slag appearance looked darker. Uh, but it welded, you know, after we got going, after a couple seconds, it welded. I don't, I haven't taken the slag off of it and looked at the bead, but... Slag is definitely harder to get off. Uh, bead appearance doesn't look that great. We got some spotting, like some discoloration on the bead itself. That's strange. I don't notice. I see a 
a um, little speck of porosity in the face of the weld about halfway through, but other than that, looks like a looks like a 7018 stick weld. I don't really care for it. The the bead appearance doesn't seem to be very smooth. It's kind of rippled and bumpy and whatnot. So, will it weld? Sure. Is it right? Uh, I wouldn't trust this. You know, again, non-critical applications. We get we get stuck in the rain or something. Keep right on welding. Uh, long term or doing any kind of critical applications, you definitely want your rods, your 7018 in a dry rod oven. Phoenix dry rod oven is a good unit. Been using them for years and years and years. So a little recap here. We did a, <clears throat> we pulled rod out of the Phoenix dry rod oven at 300 degrees, 7018 H4R. And then we pulled one that we've been soaking for like 24 hours over here in some water. Noticeable difference on how it ran. We had a little speck of porosity open up in the face of the weld. Uh, and this bead was a little rump, uh, bumpy, I should say. And that could have been me, but <clears throat> I doubt it since I never mess up on camera or any weld that I ever, no, I'm just joking. You know, is it right? Can you weld with it? Well, sure, you can weld with it, although this rod seemed extremely hard to, to uh, get started, but it ran. Um, you know, I, I'm, for me, I guess I expected to see porosity on the very start, which is kind of normal on some of the low hydrogen rods. The dry rod ran extremely smooth, had a little slag peel to it. The wet rod, hard to get started, porosity in the face, and kind of a, a bumpy profile to it. So when you're talking about low hydrogen rods, uh, definitely keep them dry. If you're doing any kind of critical work, your inspectors are probably gonna be looking at you anyway and making sure that stuff has not been out of the oven for very long and kept in containers and whatnot. So. Huge benefit to keeping 7018 dry and out of the atmosphere. Hope you found this educational. Please subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Can we please end this? What is it you're doing now? You, you do know that I have to go to the bathroom. You weren't even recording, were you? I have a cup of coffee that's barking for the right-of-way. <laughs>